Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment from my brain and today sit a while for we are playing franchise Aki Manager 6 as part of uh, Ottawa Senator teams that absolutely need some wins. Uh, so I made a trade, a big one. Um, I have been asked if... Um, if I'm going to give up on the Suns, if I can't make the playoffs, and uh, the answer is absolutely no. I am sticking with the Suns, and I am not going to let the potential letdown of this season get to me. Um, I, I really think I built a pretty good team. I'm not getting the results, but if you compare the the team that I have here compared to the team that the Suns had in 97-98, uh, I'm pretty satisfied with my team, to be honest. Uh, I mean, it sucks I did lose Marion Osa and everything, um, but Joni Van Dyke has been pretty good for us. He has 16 points in 12 games uh, since I acquired him, so it's not like, you know, I got somebody that didn't play well now the one player i would say that probably is hurting me right now is uh, bill garen as much as i was really happy to get him uh, he's on pace to have about half as many points as he had last year and that's really hurting me uh, that that's probably a big part of why I'm struggling to be into the playoffs right now. I was definitely expecting a little bit more offense from him. Uh, Andreas Dekel is really not doing great. Not that Dekel was a huge player, but uh, I mean, he has, I think, 12 points this year so far. So I do have a few players that have really underperformed and it's really hurt me. Um, but if you look at the personnel of the team, I. I, I do think that we have a pretty good team. I mean, sure, that that's a lot of, you know, two stars and a star and a half players, uh, you know, especially on D and everything. But, I mean, Brian McCabe is taking it a while to to develop. Kelly Johansson is still pretty good. I mean, he's on pace to have close to 40 points again. Uh, Zalabski, as we know, has slowed down, and I tried to trade him, but I wasn't very successful with that. Uh, Juice was kind of just a filler for now. Uh, Hammerlick is not playing all that much, but he has potential. He's still young. McIver is still producing despite being 33. Zvela is quietly pretty good for me. He had 40 points last year, and he's probably going to get there again this year. So... I do have a young team that's still developing, uh, at least for the most part. So I'm, I kind of like my team. I don't like the position I'm in, but I do like my team. So no, I'm not gonna give up on it. So today we are going to be um, doing April and the playoffs as usual. Uh, regardless of if we are in the playoffs or not uh, this month is going to be really tough and as i pointed out at the end of the previous video those three games against buffalo are extremely important for us to win uh, they are right behind us only one point behind and we have played the same amount of games so playing them three times is going to be really 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 important to get wins there so let's get going All right, uh, Pierre Surgeon had a great game. He had three goals and an assist against Tampa Bay. Uh, Terry Murray is angry at the local media coverage uh, with the Rangers. They are struggling a little bit lately, although they are ahead of us by one point. Uh, Rod Bryden is happy with me. Uh, yeah, we went three and eight in March. That was disastrous. We started so good. I was so happy, and then, yeah, and then the rest happened. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe Joni Van Dyke has the in my universe has the Matt Duchesne effect, where you know, whenever he 
he plays on a team, the team sucks, and it's not necessarily his fault because Matt Zushane is a pretty good player, but you know, Colorado was not very good with him. They traded him to Ottawa. Ottawa started to suck once we got once we got him. And now he's with Nashville, and Nashville is struggling as well. But anyway, so uh, we are playing the Sharks. As I noted in the previous video, the Sharks are doing really well. They have 82, 82 points. They are 37, 29, and 8. Uh, we did win against the Sharks in San Jose uh, at the start of the season. Uh, we won 3-1 to one that game, so... Uh, hopefully we can win here. We are playing at home and then we have a short uh, road trip of two games after that. Alright, we are going with Kirk McLean. They are going with Arthur's Irby. So, go sense go. Alright, uh, it's a win. We needed that one. So we played against a better team than us, and we managed to beat them. So I'm pretty happy with that, obviously. Uh, let's see, we outshot them 38-30, so that looks good there. Uh, they gave up the puck more than us, 8-5, to five. that's also good there. So Joni Van Dyke continues to play well for us. Uh, first star, a goal and an assist. Andre Zuzan for San Jose was a second star with a goal and an assist. And Peltonen for us had two goals and was a third star. Alright, so we took a 3 nothing lead in the first. Zvela scored from Daig. Then Neuendijk scored his 34th from Zalapski and Dackel. Uh, Peltanen scored from Neuendijk. Then San Jose scored a couple goals. And Peltanen scored on the power play from Yashin and Daig. And finally, in an empty net, Magnus Arvidsson scored from Andreas Dackel. All right. Hopefully it's not like the previous month where we win a couple games at the start and then everything goes wrong after that. So hopefully the months uh, do not follow themselves, but... Uh, what's the expression? Uh, follow, but uh, are not the same. So... All right. Now we are playing in New Jersey, who are second in the East. So again, we're playing against a better team than us. Um, New Jersey is 41, 22, and 11. And we are 2-1 and one against them this year. So we did beat them twice. So we can do it again. It's going to be on the road, though. It's going to be a little bit harder. And we did play yesterday. All right, we are going with Guy Hebert. They are... Of course, going with Marty Brother. And we won again, 1 3 to 1. Good game. Wow. The Devils are a pretty good team, and we managed to keep them to just one goal. Alright, we were outshot 38 to 34, so a good job for Guy Hebert here to keep us in that game. A lot of the games we lost in March, we outshot the other team, and some of them by quite a margin too so we were out at 38 34 uh, Peltonen had another good game so that's two really good games in a row for him a goal and two assists first star Bobby Alic had an assist second star and Gebert 37 saves that gives him the third star so Bill Guerin as usual uh, so, so if I remember correctly earlier in the season when we played against New Jersey Guerin played pretty good so he did that again so a goal here assisted by Peltonen Peltanen, then Neuendijk scored his 35th from Peltanen and Zalapski. And then Peltanen on the power play from Alfredson and Joe Neuendijk again. So Neuendijk, another good game. He had a goal in an assist again. So yes, we lost a lot in March, but that was not Joe Neuendijk's fault, unless he has a curse. Paul DiPietro and Bob Sweeney are on waivers. They, as far as I'm concerned, they're going to stay there. Cam Neely played in a thousand games. So I guess uh, I guess in the game, he's not getting all of those knee injuries that ended his career a little early. So played against uh, Buffalo and had no points. Team Mussolini has a good game. Three goals and an assist for four points. So hat trick. Pretty good. 
So Sani already had uh, uh, quite a lot of points, so I think he had 100 points already. Sorry, my memory is pretty good, but it's not perfect. All right. And now we have one of those very important games against Buffalo. Even though we've distanced ourselves a little bit from them, now we're four points up. We can't lose those games. Those are, you know, what they call in hockey four point games. So if you follow hockey quite a bit, you're probably pretty familiar with that term. Suspension for Mark Lawrence in Florida. He's going to miss the next five games. Ron Francis has reached 1,250 games in his career. He is 35, so he still has quite a few years for him going. He's still a four and a half player, a star player. Now, all right, we are playing in Buffalo. So Buffalo is 27, 37, and 10. We went 1-1 one one against Buffalo. We lost one nothing against them, and we won 6-1. So hopefully we have a little bit more of a result that looks like the 6-1 for us. All right, very important game. So, of course, they're going with Dominic Hasek. We're going with Kirk McLean, who's going to sport his Canucks jersey for this one. Maybe it's good luck. So, I mean, the colors, you know, are s somewhat similar, I guess. <laughs> oh boy, we lost that game. We we couldn't afford to lose it. We lost three to two. It was a tight one, but I am not happy with it. Uh, they outshot us 43 to 29. Uh, Dale Howardchuk was the first star of the game with a goal and an assist. Joe Newendike scored both goals for us, so he's been really good for us. I just wish the rest of the team would follow a little bit more. Well, I mean, we we won the previous two, and Brad May is the third star with a goal. All right, so Newendike on the power play from Alfredson and Loney Loach, and Newendike from Peltonen and Kelly Johansson. Uh, Johnny Van Dyke of the Ottawa Senators. So, so Johnny Van Dyke scored in five straight games. So yeah, he's been good for us. It's not his fault that we're struggling to be in the playoffs. All right, Alexi Kovalev had a great game for the Rangers. That's not good for us. Oh God, the Trounce Chicago eight to two. And Kovalev had a goal and four assists. Not not good for us. Carl Dykaus is back from from suspension in Florida. All right, we are playing our next game against Boston. Yeah, look at that. Everybody's really close to us in the standings. I don't like it. All right, Daniel Markov uh, suspended in Toronto is going to miss the next game. Zygmunt Palfi extends his assist streak to eight games with two assists against Tampa Bay. <coughs> All right, we are hosting the Boston Bruins. The Bruins are pretty good. They are 36, 29, and 10. That's good for 82 points and the sixth uh, spot in the East. And they have beaten us four times this year. So we won one game against them and lost four. So dare I say that we need to win this one? I think you're starting to be used to hear me say that. But it's because it's true. I wouldn't lie. Alright, so Kirk McLean decided that the Canucks jersey was not uh, lucky enough, so he's gonna wear the correct jersey for this one. And we are facing Manny Fernandez. So come on, let's go, Sands. Give me a win. We lost 3 to 1. Whew. We sure don't like to make things easy for ourselves. We were outshot 42-36. 
Uh, Adam Oates was the first star of the game with a goal. Uh, Olmstrom, second star, he scored the goal for us. And Kent Manderville, third star with a goal. So our long goal was Tomasz Olmstrom from Bill Guerin and Kelly Owenson. All right, so Daniel Markov is already back from suspension. Chris King with the Rangers is suspended again. So now he's missing nine games because it's been a few times. And Rob Blake of the Kings helped the front move and got hurt. So we know what that means. Yeah, next game's not going to be easy. We're playing against Buffalo. Uh, Pittsburgh, sorry. Looking ahead, that's not good. You, you need to not do that in the NHL. Look at the game ahead of you. All right, so we're tied with the Sabres now. Murray Craven has played in a thousand games. So that's pretty good. No points for him, though. Uh, Chris Dahlquist is back from suspension in Carolina. Zygmunt Palfi's as a streak ended at eight games. He did have a goal, too, against the Devils. All right, so we're playing Pittsburgh for the last time this season. Uh, we are 2-2 two two against them this year. Pittsburgh is 39-29-9 for 87 points. They are fourth in the East. Come on, guys. I need a good one here. All right, Gierbert for us. Tom Barrasso for them. And we lost 42. Okay. We might not make it. And at this point, I can't make a trade. I can't really do anything. I'm kind of stuck. Uh, so they outshot us 40 to 20. Um, we had barely more than 9,000 uh, people in attendance. Mario Lemieux was the first star with two goals and an assist. Pelton in second star with an assist. And Larry Murphy, third star with a goal and an assist. Nguyen Dyke scored on the power play from McIver and Peltonen. And Kelly Johansson from Thomas Olmstrom and Alexi Yashin. That was not enough. Jimmy Baker improves at left wing. Well, you're what, 31? Yep. It's never too late to start learning new things. Five games left. We are tied with Buffalo. Although they have played one less game. And Buffalo is our next game. Chris Chelios has a great game. He had three goals and an assist for four points. Uh... against St. Louis. Sorry, I was confused with how it was worded in there. For some reason it made it sound like uh, he was playing uh, for St. Louis and that he scored that against Chicago. Right. Oh, that's good. Buffalo played yesterday and they lost against Montreal. So I don't like Montreal, you all know that. But uh, right now I'm, I'm happy that they won. Alright, so dare I say how crucial this game is? It might boil down to the very last game of the season when we play in Buffalo. That might be how it's gonna go down. Honestly, uh, the standings are so tight. All right, so. And we don't have any games left against the Rangers, so that this game is a must win. We play at home, we play Buffalo. We only won once against them this year. So come on, give me a win. They are going with Darren Poopa, we're going with Guy Bear. Come on, Guy. Give me a good game. It's a tie. 3-3, three, three, so we're still tied with them. I mean, we did get a point. It's better than losing, but we're not distancing them, and we're about to run out of games. 3-3 that three, three tie. They outshot us 42-39. 
Junior Van Dijk scored all the goals for us. He had a hat trick, three goals. He was a first star. Pat Lafontaine, two assists, second star. And Daniel Alfredson, two assists, third star. So Junior Van Dijk scored from Alfredson and Peltonen. Then New Van Dijk scored on the power play from Norm McIver. And you guessed it, Junior Van Dijk scored again on the power play from Norm McIver and Daniel Alfredson. Red light stays on for Junior Van Dijk. I know, we were there. Thank God for him. Can you imagine if I wouldn't have traded for him? I mean, in the long run, Osa's probably going to be superior in terms of what he's going to produce and everything, but uh, right now, Osa wouldn't be helping me that much. So, I have to keep that into perspective. All right, next game's against Tampa Bay. If I lose that game, I might cry. It's the worst team in the league. Ryan Smith extends his goal streak to five games with two goals against the Flames. Uh, Claude Lapointe's suspension is over. Martin Rosinski keeps fans on their feet all night. He had a hat trick, three goals against Dallas. Uh, Mikael Nylander in Carolina is suspended. He's going to miss five games. All right. Uh, Mark Lawrence suspension in Florida is over. He is back in the lineup. All right. So we are playing Tampa Bay. I don't like the term easy... Uh, easy game or anything like that but we do need that win it is the worst team in the league so we do need that w here tampa b is 17 53 and 8 and we have won all of our la all of our matchups against them this year so far <clears throat> now is not the time to drop one against them All right, they're going with Blaine Laker. Ooh, they tried to trade to me for Ronick Stall, I believe. So, and we're going with Kirk McLean. And it's a tie. We needed a W here. We needed the two points. Oh, goody. All right, so 3-3 three, three tie. Uh, they outshot us 37 to 29. I'm not too happy with that effort there. No, we did give the puck away way too much. We gave the puck away 11 times. They gave it away four times. Damon Lenko, uh, two assists. First star, Kelly Johansson, an assist, second star. And Tom Peterson, a goal and an assist, third star. So Bill Guerin score from Yashin, Matt Cullen from Jimmy Baker and Andreas Dackel. And then thank, thank God Alexi Yashin tied the game uh, from Kelly Johansson and Joni Wendike. And then we would go two overtime and of course nobody scored there. Next game is the very next day in Florida. We drop to ninth because Buffalo won. Yeah, they won 2-1 to one against Philadelphia. Yeah, it's going to be... So... So Carolina has 73... So we all have played 79 games. Everybody has played 79 games in the East. Carolina has 73 points. They are 7th. Buffalo has 71 points. They are 8th. We have 70. We are ninth, And the Rangers have 69. And they are 10th. Well, how, how about that for a finish? Gary Batman must be so happy. He finally got the kind of parody he was looking for even prior to the salary cap era. All right, here goes nothing. We're playing the Panthers, another team we should be able to win, but, you know, that hasn't quite been going that way for us so far. At least not for the last two months. So we are going with Gieber. They are going with John Van Beesbrook. And we are two and one against the 
the Panthers so far this year. And we lost 6 to 3. Yep, I think we're going to miss the playoffs by just a couple points. <sighs> Alright, so we outshot them 31 27. So our goaltender, Guibert, uh, didn't quite play up to par. Tony Herkus is the first star with a goal and three assists. Uh, Valerie Zlepukin, second star with a goal and an assist. And Bobby Dallas, third star with two assists. Oh god, they took a yeah, they took a six nothing lead in that game. Then finally Joni Van Dyke scored on the power play at the end of the second from Yeshin and Alfredson. Then Per Juice from New and Dyke and Alexi Yeshin from Peltonen and Zalapski, but it was too little too late, and that was probably the season right there. Oh Ryan Smith extends his goal streak to six. He had a goal against Anaheim. And And now in order for me to still have a standing chance, I need to beat the team that's first in the East, the Montreal Canadiens. That, you know, my arch rival. First in the East with 50 wins, 24 losses and 6 ties. And we are 2-3 and three against them this year. We've beat them twice. We can do it again. We need to. We play at home. The crowd's going to be wild even though the arena's going to be half empty. We're going with Kirk McLean. They are going with Patrick Roy. And uh, all right, well, here goes nothing. We lost three nothing. That's so sad. Oh dear God. We were outshot thirty four to thirteen and. Probably one of the most important game of the season, if not the most important or most important game of the season. My team didn't show up, and we turned the puck over twelve time, and they they turned it over only once. Yeah. So Pascal Réon was the first star with two assists. Patrick Shelberg was the second star with an assist, and Mike Keane was the third star with a goal. Ooh. So Thomas Olmstrom is going to miss seven games with a suspension. So he's going to miss the last game of the last game of the season against Buffalo, which may or may not be of importance. Uh, Roman Amerlik is hurt for three weeks. Uh, I guess I guess I don't need to move him in case you know. Yes, I know, but I'm not going to move him unless I make the playoffs. I'm not going to worry about it. All right, so Buffalo's going to play a game before playing us, and that's going to determine if we have a chance to make the playoffs or not. If Buffalo loses the the game before us and we beat them... Uh, we're gonna sneak into the playoffs barely, but we're gonna sneak in. That's our only chance Unless they tie and we beat them then I don't know who's got the tiebreaker there Luke Robitaille has a good game. He had a hat-trick three goals against st. Louis Oh I'm too old for this They didn't play their game yet. A big game for Michael Pekka. Uh, he had a hat trick, three goals against Calgary. All right. And Carolina's doing the Team Kangaroo thing. All 
All right, so I don't know who Buffalo is playing right now. I hope it's a really good team, and I hope that that really good team shows up. Oh yeah, it was Montreal, and Montreal beat them 6-1. All right, well, I have my destiny in my hands. It can't get more nerve-wracking than that. The Rangers played all of their games, so they, they can't... They're done, so... Yeah, Ryan Smith extends his goal streak to 7 with 2 goals against uh, Toronto. Could downstretch spell end for Rangers coach Terry Murray. So as we just saw, the Rangers didn't qualify, so Terry Murray might lose his job. Uh, Jan Vopat in Pittsburgh is not getting suspended. And there you go. All right, guys, that's... And girls, if there's any girls watching... I'm uh, that's that's where we're at. We're one point behind the Buffalo Sabres. A tie doesn't cut it. We need a win. We absolutely need a win. I don't care if it's in overtime. I don't care if it's one nothing. We need a win. I'm going to take some water here, and then I'm probably gonna close my eyes and sacrifice a baby unicorn on the side here that I'm keeping hostage for situations like this. So that I can sacrifice it under a full moon. Alright. Most important game of the season. There's no more uh, game more important than this one right now. We're going to go with Kirk McLean. Apparently we're going to trust him. Gieber did not play all that great this month. Darren Pupa. Wow. Most important game of the season. And they're not going with Dominic Ashik. Although Pupa has a 930 save percentage. Oh boy. This is stressful. Alright. I'm gonna click on the sim game button. Ugh, we lost 5 to 2. Alright, so we didn't make the playoffs. We couldn't We couldn't pull through in the last game of the season. That's very frustrating. We were out shot 20, 29 28, and we gave the puck away 15 times. Oh my god. Dave Andre Chuck was the first star of the game with a goal. Brad made the second star with a goal and an assist. And Alexander McGillney, third star with a goal and an assist. Lonnie Loach scored on the power play from Joni Wendyke. And Zvela scored from Lonnie Loach and Bill Guerin. And that was at the end of the second period. And we were up 2 to 1 at that point. But the third period killed us. Oh, well, that was fun. I mean, I I don't say that sar sarcastically. I mean, that it boiled down to the last game of the season, so it doesn't get closer than that for playoffs. Now, hopefully next year I can turn this around. I keep saying that, but hopefully I can really do it next year. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go through the playoffs here. Uh, pretty. F I'm going to try to do it pretty fast. Um... Uh, Fred Brathwaite and Carolina stepped on the logo, so we know what that means. Well, I know I'm not cheering for Buffalo in those playoffs, that's for sure. Right, the Hart Trophy nominees are Sakic, Madano, and Iserman. Again, Iserman, I think, is close to being the best car in the league, but... Uh, the Vizina uh, finalists are Belfort, Roy, and Burke. The Norris is going to be between Matthias Olun, Nick Lindstrom, and Phil Owsley. Oh, that's a few new names. There's no Coffee or uh, Bork in there. I like that. 
Uh, Calder goes be, is going to go between Brendan Morrison, Matthias Olun, and Viktor Kozlov. GM of the year, Bob Gainey in Montreal, Dean Lombardi in San Jose, or Pat Quinn. I'm giving it personally to uh, Dean Lombardi. Uh, uh, Frank J. Selke trophy is going to go between Daz Drake, Yann Laperriere, and Steve Eiserman. Lady Bing, Nick Lidstrom, Paul Carrier, Sergei Zubov. Mark Messi Leadership Award between Chelios, Gilmore, and Gretzky. Ted Lindsay between Sakic, Modano, and Iserman. And the Jack Adams between Brian Murray in Detroit, Ken Hitchcock in Montreal, and Pat Quinn in Vancouver. Uh, we can look at our stats real quick. So yeah, had Neuendijk had 92 points in 77 games. For us, he had 30 points in 22 games, 16 goals and 14 assists. So I am not blaming him for not making the playoffs. Then Yashin had 71 points in 80 games, and then it starts to dwindle down from there. And in the league, Pavel Bure ended up with 55 goals, as did Luke Robitaille. So two 50-goal scorers this year. Uh, Iserman was the best passer with 69 assists. And he was the best scorer with 117 points. Selani had 114. Kozlov, 105. Bure, 103. Jager, 102. Luke Robitaille, 100. And that was six players with 100 points this year. All right, do we have the playoff three? We do. All right, so Buffalo is going to play against Montreal, Carolina against the Devils, Boston against Philadelphia, and Pittsburgh against the Islanders. Toronto made the playoffs. They're going to play against Detroit, St. Louis against Vancouver, San Jose against Colorado, and the Kings against Phoenix. Who do I pick? I am going to cheer, I believe, for... Let's pick the Devils. I'm going to pick the Devils. They have a good team. They have the goaltending. I'm picking them. All right, suspension over for Mikael Nylander. He is back in the lineup. No additional miss time for Mark Ricky. Not suspended. Vyacheslav Kozlov has a memorable game with a hat trick three goals against the Leafs. 8 to 1 win. That doesn't start too good for the Leafs in the playoffs this year. So Colorado 1, Vancouver 1, LA 1, Detroit 1, Pittsburgh, Montreal 1, Boston 1, and New Jersey 1. Murray and Murray. <laughs> Murray and Murray pitched in at the local Longa Shutter. That's funny. Rem Murray and Glenn Murray in Boston both uh, pitched in at the local Longa Shelter. So the Murrays become better people. All right. Uh, John Madden got suspended in his game that he just played. He's going to miss a game. Right. Roman Amardic is starting to feel better, but that's not really important right now because we are not in the playoffs. Uh, New Jersey loss against Carolina. Uh, Colorado, San Jose won. That's good. St. Louis won. Phoenix won. Toronto. Wow. All of the matchups in the West are tied at one. Um, Islanders won. Montreal won. Boston won. So. Well, almost all the series are tied at one. Montreal is up to nothing against Buffalo. Take that, Buffalo. I hate you. 
a memorable game for Scott Niedermeyer. He had three goals and an assist for four points and a 7-1 to one win against Carolina. So my pick for the Stanley Cup is up to the one. And John Madden is going to come back to the Devils lineup. So it's the Colorado one, Vancouver... LA, Detroit 1, Pittsburgh 1, Montreal is leading 3 0 against Buffalo. So, as much as I don't like Montreal, right now I'm cheering for them. Alright. Um. Curtis Brown in Buffalo is suspended. He's going to miss three games. Um, oh, I guess it is the... It is May 1st. Uh, Alright, so the players of the month were Zygmunt Palfi and Patrick Roy. I don't believe it uh, counts the playoffs. Uh, San Jose won, tied uh, their series 2 2 with Colorado. Uh, Vancouver won, Phoenix won, Toronto won, Pittsburgh won, Montreal got rid of Buffalo in four. Philadelphia 1 and New Jersey 1. So if we look at the playoff 3, uh, yep, a lot of uh, series are tied. Oh, I have to select a Hall of Fame nominee. Okay. Uh, Rod Langway. Uh, I guess I'll pick Langway. He was a good defenseman. I mean, among all of those names, he's probably the one I'm going to... I would pick. All right. Rick Tuckett has a good game. Uh... He had three goals and an assist uh, against the Islanders. So Pittsburgh wins their series against the Islanders. The Islanders are gone. Uh, Ray Shepard is suspended. He's going to miss two games. Uh, St. Louis avoided elimination. Phoenix took a lead. Detroit 141. Boston, New Jersey eliminated Carolina. Alright, so there's not a whole lot of games left uh, to be played in the first round. It's almost all decided. Uh, San Jose won 3 to 2. Ellie won 3 to 1. Vancouver eliminated St. Louis. Boston won and Detroit won. All right, so there's two uh, series left to go. So the winner, so San Jose, Colorado is tied at three, and LA and Phoenix is tied at three as well. Oh, I missed a news. Sorry about that. So Pavel Bure scored three goals and he eliminated St. Louis all by himself in a 3 to nothing win. Alright, so the winner of the Two games today are going to the second round. Alright, so Ray Shepard's suspension is over. Memorable game for Wayne Gretzky. He had a goal and four assists in a 6-2 win. So Ellie goes to the second round. And I saw that Colorado won against San Jose. I was kind of rooting secretly for San Jose, hoping that they would make it. Because they're... Uh, 
their season surprised me. I wasn't seeing. I wouldn't. I was not seeing that coming. All right. So. Uh, so in the second round, we have Boston against Montreal. So that should be a good series. They hate each other. Pittsburgh against New Jersey. That should also be a good series. LA against Detroit. That should be pretty good too. And Colorado against Vancouver. So not a whole lot of surprises there in the second round. All right. So let's see who won the first games. So Colorado won 4-3, Detroit won 5-4, Montreal won 5-2, and New Jersey won 6-3. Alright, so Hammerlick is feeling better. Oof. So Vancouver won two to one. Uh, LA won five to four. Montreal won ten to three in the playoffs. What a disgrace for Boston. And uh, New Jersey won three nothing against Pittsburgh. All right, sorry about that. Uh, so that's a scouting report. We're not going to worry about that. Uh, Hammerdick is doing better. And Joe Murphy donates time and money to cancer research. Sad, sad story for Joe Murphy in real life. All right. Strong night for Mario Lemieux. He had four goals and an assist against the Devils, so Pittsburgh is back into that series. Strong night for Sean McEachern, so in that same game he had four assists. Pretty good. Colorado won, Detroit won, Boston won 4 1, and Pittsburgh won, so I believe all those series are 2 1. Yeah, they're all 2-1. Colorado up, Detroit up, New Jersey up, and Montreal up. All right, well, Amardik is almost recovered, so he's going to be recovered in time for the golf season. Lucky him. Uh, all right, so Vancouver tied the series 2-2, LA tied the series 2-2, Montreal is up 3-1, and Pittsburgh tied it 2-2 as well. All right, so Amardic is completely recovered. Uh, Vancouver won three to two. Ellie won two to one. Montreal won three nothing, and New Jersey won four to one. All right, so Montreal is going to the conference finals. He's gonna face the winner between the Devils and the uh, Penguins, and then Ellie and Vancouver are leading their series three to two. Uh, Chris McAlpine in Vancouver is suspended. He's going to miss two games. All right. Uh, New Jersey eliminated Pittsburgh. LA sorry, uh, eliminated Detroit. And Colorado tied their series. So there's one series left. Winner between Vancouver and Colorado is going to face the Kings in the conference finals. Uh, Brian Marchment and those scholarships at Hometown College. So Brian Marchment is now with the Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, 
and Vancouver is going to be facing LA in the West. So that's a little bit of a, I would say, a little bit of a surprise, maybe. Maybe they're doing that all on the back of Ron Extall. Maybe I should have kept Ron Extall. That might be why we didn't make the playoffs. Maybe that if I would have kept Ron Extall instead of getting Kirk McLean, maybe we would have made it. Yeah, he didn't play all that great for me. 906 save percentage. Dang. All right, so New Jersey against Montreal and LA against Vancouver. Those are our matchups. All right, so Chris McAlpine suspension ends. Montreal won three to two and Vancouver won five two. So they those are had one nothing new pads for Kelly Rudy in LA. So I don't again I'm not sure what that does. Uh, but the Kings are still in it, so I don't know if it's giving Rudy a little bit of a boost or something. Maybe they need it, I don't know. Oops, I forgot to delete. The message. Uh, Vancouver won again and Montreal won again. So Montreal and Vancouver up to nothing in the series. So it might be a, an all Canadian final. We haven't seen that in a very long time. Actually, I believe that last time was in what, 1989? When Calgary and Mon Montreal faced, uh, faced off? Did I get my years wrong? It's very possible, but I'm pretty sure the last all Canadian matchup in the in the finals was Montreal and Calgary, because I remember Lenny McDonald. But I think it was in in '89. I'm sure one of you is going to let me know in the comments. Uh, New Jersey won and Vancouver won, so Vancouver is up three uh, nothing. Montreal is up two one. So it's not looking good for for the Kings. Maybe uh, Kelly Rudy needs to go back to his old pads. Oh, Heli won and New Jersey won. So Montreal, New Jersey is tied at two. And Vancouver is up 3-1. Yeah, that pause in my head was me uh, doing basic math in my head. I was like, how is it that they're tied at 2 and the other one is 3-2, but Ellie only won one game. So, you know. All right. So Vancouver eliminated uh, LA in five, and now New Jersey won three games in a row. They're up three to two. So I guess Gary Bettman heard me, and now he doesn't want to have an all Canadian final. Oh. Yeah, talk about getting rid of Montreal. New Jersey won eight nothing, <laughs> the the game that eliminated them. Yashin is day to day with an injury, a foot contusion. He probably swung uh, at his foot with a golf club. All right, so the Stanley Cup Finals is going to be between the New Jersey Devils and the Vancouver Canucks so my pick at the start of the playoffs is still there I'm I'm getting pretty good at those it's almost scary so yeah I know it doesn't matter we're not playing 
Or we're not playing Aki. I don't know what we're playing, but it's not Aki. Tony Amante keeps fans on their feet all night with a hat trick, three goals, uh, in a 4 to 3 win in overtime against the Canucks. Wow. Nice way to finish off your your hat trick with a game winner in the Stanley Cup Finals in overtime. That's that's pretty dramatic. And they went and got him before the season started too. So that's what I did mention. It was a pretty interesting trade and that I really liked it. And now it's starting to pay off for them. All right. All right, so New Jersey up one nothing. Oh, I have to vote now. All right, who am I voting for? I kind of have to give uh, to give it to Peter Stashny. It was more than just the stats; it's everything that was surrounding him and his brothers. Right, so I am deleting that. I voted for three people. New Jersey won the second game five to three, up to nothing in the Stanley Cup final. New Jersey won again, 2-1, to one, up 3 nothing. so is Vancouver going to do uh, the thing that really doesn't happen often in the in the playoffs? I have been extended! Woohoo! Yeah, I'm starting to suck so bad that even if I have the do not uh, fire me box checked, I'm still probably going to get fired anyway. <laughs> The computer is going to go in commissioner mode and get rid of me at, at this rate. All right, so let's see if the Devils sweep the Canucks. And they did with a 4 nothing win, too. Wow. So, again, I picked the winner right off the bat. So, look at me. At least I'm good at something. <laughs> uh. All right, so the Devils won. I don't think that I'm that terrible. I think I've had a lot of bad luck. I've had a lot of players that underperformed this year. I covered that at the start of the video, though, but uh, I'm not putting it all on me. I did assemble a pretty interesting team, at least on paper. Now they just need to do it in the game. Uh, Hart Trophy goes to Joe Sakic. So Sakic had... Oh, God, I, I was looking at just the assist, and I was like, 57 points? No, he had 90 points. Still, he was not one of the, what, six guys that had 100 points, so that's a little weird again. Uh, Devil Star Rolston. So, Brian Rolston was the Connie Smite winner. Uh, Patrick Roy wins the Vizina. Lidstrom wins the Norris. Uh, Olun wins the Calder. Pat Quinn won the GM of the year. I would have given it to the guy in San Jose. Dean Lombardi deserved that. Dallas Drake wins the Selkie. Uh, Pavel Bury wins the Mars Richard Award with his 55 goals. Yep. Uh... Art Rust to Iserman. He finished the season with 117 points. Uh, he also wins the plus minus award. Uh, Olaf Kozig wins the Roger Crozier Saving Grace award. So, Oh, yeah, he did get injured, I think. Yeah, he only played 26 games and that qualified him, I guess. 932 save percentage, that's pretty good. But I guess his team just can't score goals because he really didn't have that great of a season. Well, it wasn't bad, I guess. Uh, Patrick Warnard with the Jennings Trophy. Uh, Paul Carrier wins the Lady Bing. 
Randy Cunningworth wins the Bill Masterton. Mark Messi Leadership Award goes to Chris Chelios. Ted Lindsay Award goes to Joe Sakic. Jack Adams goes to Pat Quinn. And the All Stars. So we didn't get anybody in there. All right, so that's it for this season. We barely missed the playoffs. Very heartbreaking. Uh, it boiled down to that last game of the season. And I did mention that those three games against Buffalo were going to be very important. If we would have won two and tied one, we would have been into the playoffs and probably would have lost in the first round. But I still was aiming for the playoffs so um that's pretty much where we're at it's pretty disappointing uh yet again i still think we're heading in the right direction the team is not that bad now in the next video as usual i'm going to sim all the way to july 1st keep the important news so that i can show them and then we are going to do free agency and then I'm going to play all the way through preseason. That's usually what I do after a season. Uh, I'm probably going to make some changes as usual. I try to bring up a few couple, you know, a couple new faces. Try to shake the team up. The team up. So we know for sure I'm not bringing Zardy Zalapski back. So we're probably going to see a new face on D. I don't know who yet. I don't know who's going to be available. Uh... Well, we'll see what happens. So, New, Jer New Jersey Devils swept the Vancouver Canucks in four and won the Stanley Cup yet again. So, thank you for tuning in. And if you've liked the video, feel free to like and subscribe. That's always appreciated. And until I roll this game again, see you guys next time. Thank you.